Well, the last time Scott was here, he asked me what plant is this, Paul? This little palm tree here. And it's actually a triangle palm. So it's native to Madagascar. It's a really cool palm tree. They've kind of popped up in Florida 20 years ago, in the 90s, I'd say. And then I started seeing them here in Southern California. And uh, I actually gave my dad has a pretty big one, um, but I bought a small one gallon years ago and uh, it's starting to take off finally. So I wish I would have bought a bigger one um, because it's such a beautiful palm. But as you can see, there's kind of three faced or triangular. It's native to Madagascar. Um, our example's pretty small, um, but it will someday get large. And if you look around um, anywhere in Southern California, you could see these things, especially in Florida too, very popular. Um, hardy to like 20, high 20s, I'd say. Um, it does get kind of burned back, the outer uh, fronds do, from a frost or excessive heat. Um, but again, this uh, awesome triangle palm, also um, known as Dipsis dic Dicarii, I think, Dicarii? Dipsis Dicarii, that's right. Um, and it uh, will grow 50 feet in its native habitat of Madagascar, but um, Southern California probably grows about 20 to 30 feet. I've seen one about 22 feet or so, 25 feet, it was pretty big. Um, so, uh, fold apart sun, I'd say. Um, I have this thing receiving full sun, and it's starting to really take off. I mean, it looks pretty small. As you can see, it is starting to form that kind of triangular triangular three sides here. There's one side, there's two, and there's three. So you can really see the name, where it came from, why it's a triangle palm. Um, new growth, new frond, new shoot is really, shoots long as thin and then pops open pretty quick. Um, so again, uh, what else can I tell you about this? I haven't noticed any pests with this uh, tree, this palm tree, it does pretty well. Um, uh, aphids and mealybugs and scale are probably something that could attack it, but I have, have seen nothing, obser I've observed none of that. Um, it's uh, yellow and green flowers will kind of fade to black fruit and you could actually grow this palm from seed pretty easily from what I hear. Um, so I can't wait for this palm to get really large like I've seen some uh, in Balboa Park or Escondido. And throughout uh, Southern California you can find this palm tree. So again, triangle palm, dipsis to carry. And um, I water it uh, about two to three times a week, and um, it's doing really, really well. It just kind of took a year to um, naturalize itself to our climate and soil. So there you go, triangle palm, definitely on the cool plant list. So give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll keep them coming. And we'll have plenty of more palm trees and a bunch of succulents coming up as well. So hope uh, you have a great day, and I hope you can buy a triangle palm. Uh, some people do grow these indoors, by the way, um, and have success, and now I'm starting to see them even for sale in like Home Depot. So uh, it's definitely starting to be a more common palm. All right, bam, triangle palm. Dude, it's creepy.